So now I have a spinny frictionless stool and it's now possible to demonstrate conservation of angular momentum. And it's possible then to look at the moment of inertia because if I have two heavy weights out here then I'm heavier than if I have two heavy weights here. Heavier we mean by moment of inertia. And that of course means that I can increase my spin speed. I like to introduce that into the lectures because it helps to illustrate what we mean by moment of inertia and spin. Um, and then I can get on to rather interesting things with this bicycle wheel because I can say if I spin the bicycle wheel clockwise then I spin anti-clockwise but if I spin the wheel anti-clockwise I spin clockwise but what happens if I change the spin direction by twisting the wheel upside down well we see what happens I spin the wheel clockwise and then I turn it around anti-clockwise or clockwise or anti-clockwise so it's clear then that I can control my spin by controlling the direction of this wheel the direction is then like these arrows again direction is important and that's why the gyroscopic effect uh, can be explained easily using these arrows or vectors and change of angular momentum.